What's up, y'all? I'm Javar. This is Dusa Farms. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about VPD or vapor pressure deficit and why it's important. Before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot. And you can also turn on those post notification bells so you don't miss out on any content. Also, if you wouldn't want to further join the community, you can head over to the Discord. You can join our server. We got over 200 members right now. You can talk to a whole bunch of other growers. When I first started out as a new grower and me not knowing anything, you know, I'm looking up everything I can about growing, learning as much as I can, but still trying to keep it simple so it doesn't get too complicated. And, you know, we... Of course, as a new grower, you're going over temperatures. What's the right temperature? What's the right humidity? And you're hearing all these numbers, and it's pretty much the same. A lot of people are saying, you know, try to keep it in the 70s. You can go into the 80s. But usually, you know, like the 70s are the comfortable area. Well, humidity, you know, based on the different stages of life, you know, it's going to be different. Like prop propagation, it's going to be, you know, a lot of people are saying 80, 90 percent. Uh, vegetation, you're going around 60, 70 percent. And then come flower, you're at like 40, 50 percent. Those are like the averages, you know, it definitely varies depending on where you're at and who you are and how you want to run your setup. But, you know, those are just the averages, and those are good. You know, those numbers are good. They'll get you from start to finish with no problem. But, you know, as you grow and you start to learn more and more, you start to really dive into it, and then that's when you come across things like VPD and how it correlates to plant growth and what the numbers should be in order to increase that growth. So what is vapor pressure deficit or VPD? It's the difference between the amount of moisture in the air currently as opposed to the amount of moisture that air can hold at a specific temperature. Uh, in simpler terms, because me reading that right off the bat, like I saw that, I was just like, yeah, this is getting too sciencey for me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe, you know, I need one of the For the Dummies books. But in simple terms, it's pretty much, I mean, it's kind of simple in a way. Maybe I was just the slow one. But it's, it's exactly what it is. Like, so at a certain temperature, there can only be so much moisture held in that air. So the VPD is going to come from that number, depending on the temperature and the humidity, how they correlate together. I probably just made it super complicated, but... You guys are probably following with me. I'm sorry. So why is it important? Why is vapor pressure deficit important? And it's going to help the plant growth. It's going to really increase the growth because through VPD, you know, whatever number you're at based off the plant stage of life, it can, it can vary. But through VPD, your plants are going to be able to transpire more or less depending on that VPD. And the more your plants transpire, which transpiration is pretty much like sweating. Your plants are, you know, how we dehydrate and then we need to rehydrate. So your plants are dehydrating, releasing some of that moisture through like the leaves and stuff. And now they need to rehydrate by, you know, taking in more water and nutrients and stuff like that. So the more they transpire, the more they uptake, which in returns, the more they grow. Now by you controlling the VPD based off the stages of life, you can increase the growth even more, like I said, so you can get more transpiration in that different stages of life there's going to need to be a different vpd in which the optimal vpd depending on the stages of life is going to vary it can vary all the way from like 0.6 to 1.3 now these are just averages people have gone lower people have gone higher but these are just like the the, the typical you know what you'll find online and it's going to be like the averages of what it can be and what it should be whatever so here's a typical chart of what you can expect to see when vpd and you can see right there if during propagation, early veg, that number is going to be lower. And as the plants, you know, progress in life, that's when that number is going to go up with flower being, you know, like the, the highest VPD at like 1.3. So it's going to change depending on the stage of life. Now, ways to increase or decrease VPD, just like I said, you know, you adjust the temperature or you adjust the humidity. Ways to adjust the humidity, you can use a humidifier to raise it. You can use exhaust fans to like, you know, pull some of that air out. Those are going to be simpler ways. Or you just adjust the temperatures. And what you can do with that is you can move the driver out outside of the tent you could bring it back inside of the tent there's going to be all types of ways you can turn the led up and then that's just going to make more heat so depending on what there's a lot of different ways you can do it so you don't have to sit there and you know fight the temperature or fight the humidity you can kind of just go with it and you know counterbalance it with the other now to monitor vpd you can use you know your hygrometer thermometer you know look at the chart pretty much get an estimate based off of what your temperature and humidity is at or you can also like use that uh, instead of using a chart, they have calculators out there where you're able to plug in your humidity, your humidity and temperature. Or there's also monitors and sensors, which I have monitors. I have environmental monitors through Pulse Pro. The Pulse Pro is definitely great. You can use code Deuce of Farm to save yourself 25% off. But I like it because, I mean, it tracks a whole bunch of other stuff. I got it mainly because I want to dial in my environment. It doesn't, like, control those things for me, but it helps me track it and figure it all out. So I, knew, I know what I need to change and, you know, fix everything so I can get my environment dialed in and I can give my plants that optimal environment for them to thrive. That's pretty much the overall gist of what VPD is. Like I said, I know as a new grower, 
or I didn't know what it was, I got a few, you know, requests by people to do a video. So hopefully this was able to help you people out there. Make sure you comment and let me know if I was able to help or if you have any other tips on VPD and other things that, you know, someone should know, drop those in the comments. And if you'd like to join the community, like I said, join the discord. You don't have to be a new grower. You can be, you know, a well-versed grower. You can have some experience. You may be able to help some of those new growers like myself in the discord, but I appreciate you guys until next time. Peace.